morning with Supplements in the Spotlight. I'm Dr Tristan. This past month there's been a great deal of news in newspapers and agencies surrounding a beauty chocolate, Cambridge beauty chocolate, titled Estachoc. 21 bars of 7.5 grams will be contained in a pack which will be available to buy online at the end of the month, at the end of March 2015. Three weeks is all that's claimed to be needed to show improvement in skin condition. The independent newspaper in the UK called it anti-aging chocolate. The claim is by the manufacturers that it can bring skin biomarkers of a 50, 60 year old down to those of a 20, 30 year old. 3,000 patients have been enrolled in medical and clinical tests claim the manufacturers. Let's have a look at what the ingredients are of Estachoc and let's have a look at some of the evidence behind it that I've been able to find. Well Estachoc contains marine astaxanthin and cocoa polyphenols. Flavanol that is found in every chocolate bar that you'll eat. In a 29 patient study it was found that there was reduced blood pressure, reduced cholesterol and reduced low density lipoprotein. What does this mean? Well if you've got reduced blood pressure it's because the veins and arteries and capillaries supplying the skin are open. If they're open you can provide more oxygen, more nutrients to the skin and potentially reduce the signs of aging or prevent aging theoretically. But what should be known is that blood pressure is also reduced with dark chocolate anyway and this was seen in the control arm. In other words in this study there were people who were only taking dark chocolate. It didn't contain astaxanthin, this powerful antioxidant that's been derived from marine environment that is also added into Estachoc. Let's have a closer look at astaxanthin and let's have a look at those cholesterol and supposed anti-inflammatory effects. Now in the 29 patient study there was no reduction in something called C-reactive protein. There was no reduction in inflammatory mediators. Why is this important? Why would you want to see a reduction in inflammation in the skin? Well a reduction in inflammation, the skin's calmer, you're less likely to get drying of the skin, you're less likely to see wrinkles develop. Let's have a look at astaxanthin. Astaxanthin was tested in a trial that find on 30 females over 8 weeks, oral and topical. What does this mean? It was taken orally as a tablet or capsule and then it was applied to the skin as well. It was found that there was a reduction in deep wrinkles but there was no reduction overall in the surface area and volume of wrinkles and in skin hydration, in other words, the amount of water that was retained in the skin to prevent wrinkles. There was a further study, further study done on 36 males in this instance and it was only oral, it was only capsule tablets, there was no cream in this instance and it was found that there was improved elasticity and was loss of crow's feet but transversely, conversely compared to the previous study, it's a real mixed bag this, compared to the female study there was no reduction in the deepness and the depth of wrinkles, no statistical difference. So it's one saying one thing and one saying the other. In terms of astaxanthin when applied with collagen, collagen, component of skin, in many beauty products you may have heard it being injected into the skin to give a fuller, fuller complexion, reduce the depth of the wrinkles. Well in 44 patients it was found to improve elasticity, reduce water loss. So there is an evidence basis at least behind astaxanthin's inclusion in estachoc. Now there are strong claims being made against estachoc. Strong claims against the flavanols I contained in there and the astaxanthin component. These have not been ratified by the EC but at the time of making this video astaxanthin's makers are going, or the, the makers of estachoc should I say, are going back with the claims against astaxanthin, against estachoc, back to the EC to establish health claims and beauty related claims in relation to reduction uh, or should I say the enhancement of the skin and the reduction of those biomarkers mentioned.